Hey, in this video, we're going to jump into the Luka brand kit and show you how to make the most of it. First things first, you want to set up your brand. So you want to start on the brand kit homepage and click edit brand. And this is going to take you to a really quick setup process. So you can set some of your preferences. First, you're going to choose a pattern and you can always change this later. You'll start to see it appear in some of your generated designs and you can preview on the right hand side here to find a pattern you like. Hit next and you'll choose a font pair that complements your logo and you'll have two fonts. One will be a heading font and one will be a body font. And again, you can preview on the right and flip through to find fonts that suit your brand. Lastly, you're gonna to wanna to enter your company info. So this can be as much or as little info as you want, phone number, email address, website, and this will appear on all your generated assets that have this type of contact information on them, like business cards or letterheads or invoices. Click finish and you're all done. Your designs in the brand kit will update with these preferences. Step two, you're gonna to wanna to learn where all your assets are in the brand kit, which is pretty straightforward because they're all displayed here in card format or along the left menu. Most importantly, your logo files are at the top. And when you click on logo files, you'll be able to download them from here. And we recommend saving them to your desktop. If you click on any category here, we're gonna try social posts, Instagram posts. It's gonna generate a bunch of designs for you to review. And at the top tab here, you're gonna see made for you and save designs. Made for you will be, again, all your generated designs that you can then customize and save designs. Or if you've ever clicked any assets in that category or edited them or downloaded them, they're gonna just automatically save in this folder. So just remember that if you say have created a social post and you wanna go back and use that again or see it or keep working on it, well, save designs will get you there every time. Step three, get familiar with the editor. So we're going to click on one of these generated designs. And that's going to take us into a separate tab that is the brand kit editor. And this is where we can customize text, colors, backgrounds, basically anything we want. So we'll just give you a really basic overview of what you can do here. One of the coolest things you can do, if you have a logo with a background, a colored background, and you don't want that background to appear in some of your designs, all you have to do is click the background and click delete. And as you can see, it's almost like your logo is on a transparent background. You can also click any piece of text or image or design element and drag it around, resize it, change text really easily again by clicking on it and you can see your fonts that you've chosen are automatically in the brand kit, move things around. Again, say I wanted to delete this line, just click on it and click delete. Click on this text box and move it over. You'll see some margin lines to help you out. And let's try to change the background color. So say I want to go and actually a whole new direction with this background color. Simply click background on the side here, color and this fill button and that'll take you to a color palette where you can either add your own colors or there's gonna be document colors at the bottom. So any colors pulling in from your document. So say I want to change the background to this bold color. And that my logo disappears because it's in that color. So we're just gonna change that back to white. Another cool trick here you can do is say I want to change all this text to white. I can just highlight and drag over and that's gonna group those together. I'm gonna to go back to this color button click white and all my text will change. Next up, learn how to change your photos. So the cool thing about the brand kit is either you can upload your own photos or choose from a stock library that's built right in. So I'm gonna click this photo and on the left menu here, I'm gonna say replace image. If I choose to upload my own, I can click that and it'll just bring me to folders on my desktop to choose from. But I can also click this unsplash button It'll bring me right into Unsplash Stock Photo Library where I can search any term. Scroll down here, find an image I like. Click Add. And click Apply Image and you're all set. So as you can see, you can totally customize a design in just a few minutes. 
just by adjusting things you want to adjust, changing text, changing photos. It's super simple, especially when you get the hang of it. Last tip, you can post directly to Facebook or Instagram. So really handy if I created this Instagram post and I don't want to save it and then try to post it, say on my phone, what I can do is press this export button. And you can either schedule it with a tool like Buffer, which again requires a bit of setup. You just have to add authorization to post directly from here. And you can also do that with Facebook and Instagram. So say I say post to Instagram. I've gone through the setup process of integrating my accounts, granting some permissions, and now I can just click my text in, post to Instagram, and all set. Really handy, convenient, don't have to go through an extra step of exporting. And those are all the tips, so that's how you can make the most of your brand kit when you get in here and start playing around. Just remember these five tips and stay tuned for more videos and questions.